Welcome to my tutorial number 12. It's titled, Make a Barrier to Stop a Moving Object. Open a new Flash document. This can be made in Flash 8 Professional. That's what, that's what I'm using. Or it can be made with CS5.5 using the Flash Player 8 and the Action Script 2 settings. We'll start by making a new symbol and it's going to be a movie clip called Ball. Underscore MC. And we'll make that on the stage right here. Pick up my oval tool. Hold my shift down and make a ball. I'm going to call this layer one ball. And I'm going to make sure it's selected. Make sure I got both the stroke and the fill selected. Go up to modify. Convert to symbol. Make sure button is selected. Call it D A L L underscore B T N. Go to scene one. Select layer one, call it ball. Drag the movie clip on. Scene one. Pick up this, copy this instance name, copy it, paste it in here so we can do some script on this ball. Open a new layer, call it Action Script AS, select that frame, and type in this code. It's an if statement. And it's going to allow us to control the left movement of the ball. It says if with a small i, open bracket, capital K for key, period, is down, small i, capital D, open bracket, capital K, E, Y, key, period, left, L, E, F, T, all capitals, two closed brackets, open curly bracket, close curly bracket down here, and in between them is this line that says the ball, capital B, underscore movie MC, that's the movie clip we just made, period, underscore X, the X axis, plus equals, that says do the math, either add or subtract, in this case add a minus 3, which subtracts 3 pixels and moves that ball to the left. So let's just see if this works. Hit the left key and it doesn't work. Should go back into our action panel at the very top. Insert a line and type this code. Function. F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N. On enter frame. Small o. Capital E for enter, capital F for frame, one big long word. Open and close bracket and open curly bracket. There's our if statement and we need to close it off down here with a closed curly bracket. Now let's try the left key and see what happens. And the ball moves left. Let's make it move right, up and down. Open the actions panel. Copy this, those three lines, right click, copy, put your cursor here, press enter, and paste that information, and this will be the right key, all capitals. And the right motion on the screen will be a plus three, so just remove that minus sign. cursor back here on this curly bracket. 
paste again. This will be the up key. Capital UP. And I believe the up key will control the Y axis. And I think it is minus motion. Paste it in again. This will be the down key. All capitals. And if that was a minus 3, we got to get rid of this minus sign. We've got to change the Y axis here, make it Y. Let's test this out. There's left, right, up, down. So that gives us full motion of the object, the ball. We now want to make some barriers. Back on the library panel, new symbol, movie clip. Let's call this WAL, like as in a wall, and we'll call this horizontal, HOR underscore MC. That's movie clip. And let's draw a horizontal wall, rectangle tool. Let's make the Leave a stroke black and let's make the inside bluish color and make sure frame one is selected and make a horizontal wall. There it is there and let's just call this wall. Good practice. Grab the selection tool, make sure everything is highlighted, modify it, convert it to a symbol, button, and W A L H O R underscore B T N. It's a button. Go over to your alignment panel. If it's not opened, go on your windows and there's your alignment panel. Select the button you just made. Click alignment tools. back to scene one. Lock all layers, select the ball layer, insert the layer above it, call it walls. Horizontal. Grab your horizontal wall, drag it, put it somewhere below your red ball. Not too far away. Select this instance name, right click, copy it, paste it in here, and call it horizontal, or excuse me, call it wall horizontal, D for down, one. So that means that the ball is going to be down hitting it. That will be a code we can use later on. Go back to the library panel, pick up this horizontal wall, bring it, put it above that button, above that red ball. I think we still have the name on our paste. If not, pick it up here and paste it. Call this up U1. So we have I'm going to make the stage a bit smaller. We have here a wall horizontal down one. Here we have a wall horizontal up one. Lock that layer so all layers are locked. With the wall horizontal selected, make a new layer, wall vertical. B E R. Click on frame one. Bring this horizontal wall on the stage. Go to your alignment panel. Transform and rotate it 90 degrees.
pick up this instance name, copy it, paste it here, and it's going to be wall vert. V E R right one, meaning that the ball will hit it when the ball is moving right. Pick up another wall, bring it onto the stage. Rotation again, transform panel, rotate. 90 degrees, copy the instance name, paste it here in the instance under that movie clip sign, and this is going to be wall vertical. Left one. So we have four walls. Go back to the Actions panel, open it up, and right here under this line, so at the end of the line we're going to put our cursor, enter, and we're going to type this information. It's an if statement, and it says, just the same format as up here, it's up here sort of, it's saying if small i bracket ball movie clip capital B A L L underscore M C period hit test small h capital T open bracket and there's that movie clip we just made wall vertical one and we called it L for left. So when that movie clip is hit by the ball, something's going to happen. After the underscore MC, two closed brackets, your open curly bracket. And here we're just going to put a test to see if we hit it. It's called a trace, T-R-A-C-E, open bracket, quotation mark, left hit. Doesn't matter the spelling here, this is just a, a, a trace quotation mark, close bracket, a semicolon, and here's what stops the ball from going through the wall. Ball underscore MC, capital B, period, underscore X, the X axis, plus equals three. That means bring it back the same amount you try to send it. When you bring something back the same amount, it stays where it is and a closed curly bracket. So let's see if that left one works. There's left, 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 left. It hit and it can't go. I can bring it back and hit. We're going to do the same for, for these. We'll take this four lines here We'll copy them. Cursor right here be after that semicolon. Space. Paste. It's the same information as up here, except now we want to move right. We want to move right. So this is going to be the R1 underscore movie clip. It's going to be a right hit. Keep track. A right hit. And we want to send it the opposite direction to this with send it positive. So right here in front of this tree, you need a minus sign. Let's go down to the next one. Right after that semicolon. Enter. Paste what you copied. This time it's going to be the horizontal HOR and it is the up. Let's 
So it's a U in here. All these movie clips we just made. This will be the up hit. And this works out right where this is minus 3 and it's going to be a plus 3. And the last one, come down here, paste this one in. It is also going to be the horizontal down, so take those four letters out. H O R D down, one underscore M C, and this is the down hit. And if this is a plus three, this has to be minus three. And if this works out, we have a barricades in all direction. I will go right. It hits and traces right. I'm coming left. I'm going down. So it should hit trace down. Something wrong with that. Hit trace down. Check that out. There's my left. And there's my up. There's something wrong with my up and my down. Let's look in the action script. And let's see. You probably already know. Yes. Here when we're we're doing our hit, we're telling we're talking about the y axis and we're actually changing the x. So this x on the up key section this X has to be a Y. And in the section down here, on the down key section, this has to be a Y. And now this is going to work. Go this way. That's good. Go over here. We'll quite a ways. We'll hit it. Now I'm going to press it up and down at the same time. It goes on a 45, see that? That one works now. A little bit 45, see if I hold two at once. And that's the barricades. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And I hope you use what you learned.